you probably noticed AGM lead acid batteries are cheaper upfront than lithium batteries. But does that lower price tag really save you money in the long run? In this video, we'll break down the real cost of lead acid versus lithium batteries. Initial cost comparison. Let's start with price. A 12 volt 100 amp hour AGM lead acid battery will cost you $170. A 12 volt 100 amp hour lithium battery will cost you $190. At first glance, lead acid looks cheaper, just $20 less. But let's dig deeper to find the true cost. Usable capacity. Here's where the numbers shift. Lead acid batteries only allow you to use 50% of their capacity. Lithium batteries let you use 100% of their capacity. Some people say cycling lithium batteries to 100% is not good for the lifespan of the cells. But it's necessary for balancing. This is what battery manufacturers recommend as well. So, to get the same usable capacity of 100 amp hours, you will need two lead acid batteries. That's $170 times 2 equals $340. Meanwhile, the lithium battery still costs just $190. Right away, we can see that lithium is cheaper per usable amp hour. But we're not there yet. Next, let's talk efficiency. How much energy you actually get from the power you put in. Also called round trip efficiency. Lead acid batteries are about 80% efficient. Meaning, you will lose some energy to heat during charging and discharging. We can say that 80% is a factor of 1.25. Lithium batteries are around 92% efficient, wasting less than lead acid. We can say that 92% is a factor of 1.087. Let's adjust for efficiency. Lead acid is $340 times 1.25 equals $425 and lithium is $190 times 1.087 equals $206. Now lead acid is more than double the price of lithium for the same usable power. Lifespan and cycle life. This is where the real difference shows. Lead acid batteries typically last 1000 cycles at 50% depth of discharge. After that, you need to buy a new one. Lithium batteries can handle 4000 cycles at 100% depth of discharge and still retain 80% of their original capacity. To match 4000 cycles, you'll need 4 sets of lead acid batteries. Now the price for lead acid becomes $425 times 4 battery sets equals $1,700. And for lithium, this is still just $206. If we now divide the cost of lead acid by the cost of lithium, we get $1,700 divided by $206 equals 8.25. That makes lead acid batteries 8 times more expensive over their lifespan compared to lithium batteries. Let's talk about the practical lifespan of a lithium battery. In reality, the battery management system or BMS is likely to fail before the battery cells reach their full 4000 cycle potential while still having 80% capacity left. I estimate the BMS will last around 10 years. That is similar to a solar string inverter. Over 10 years, you're looking at 3650 cycles, assuming daily use. However, in a well-designed system, you won't be cycling the battery from 0 to 100% every day. So I expect after 10 years, the battery should still retain roughly 90% of its original capacity. If the BMS does fail, it can be replaced. But by that time, 
it's more likely you'll opt for a new battery, possibly one with improved efficiency or even based on an entirely new technology. So let's calculate the cost of lead acid battery with a 10 year lifespan. We have our previously calculated lead acid cost of $425. Instead of accounting for 4000 cycles, like we did previously, we need to account for 10 years, or 3650 cycles. We know that a lead acid battery can have 1000 cycles before it should be replaced. So we become a factor of 3.65, multiplying $425 with 3.65 gives us a cost of $1,551, compared to our cost of $206 for lithium. That's still 7.5 times cheaper. When does lead acid batteries make sense? Despite lithium's clear advantages, there are a few situations where lead acid might still work better. Alternator charging. Lead acid batteries can charge directly from an alternator using a cheap isolator. Lithium batteries require a DC to DC charger, adding $100 to $200 to your system. Backup systems. For infrequent use, like emergency lighting or UPS setups, lead acid's lower life cycle isn't a big deal. Cold weather. Lead acid can charge when frozen, while lithium batteries need heating systems to charge safely. Budget-friendly projects. If you need something cheap and don't plan to cycle it often, lead acid gets the job done. Why lithium wins for most applications? For everything else, lithium batteries are the obvious choice. They're more efficient, cheaper in the long term, longer lasting and better performing overall. That's why I design all my systems with lithium batteries. They just make sense for modern setups. Check out my free diagrams on my website for some inspiration. Or grab my book for a step-by-step -step guide on off-grid solar power. If you learned something new, please like the video, subscribe for updates, and I will see you in the next video.